Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we determined the velocity of the bird and how far the bird traveled by the time the two trains meet. Now, in this video, we're going to try to determine how many trips the bird, the bird will take back and forth before the two trains meet. And I'm hoping you tried to figure that out on the previous video before you took a look at this one right here. Now, if you got stuck, you didn't know how, or maybe you figured it out and you want to find out what the actual answer is, let's take a look. The answer is actually quite surprising. So what we do know is that the first round trip took a half hour. During that half hour, the right train moved 25 kilometers to the left, and the left train moved 25 kilometers to the right, which means that after a half hour, so after trip one, the left train will be here and the right train will be here and notice that the distance between the two now will be 50 kilometers so let's call that uh, distance one after one trip of course don't confuse distance one with the previous video and we can say that one half hour has elapsed so time one for trip one is equal to 0.5 hours. Again, do not confuse the T1 and the D1 with the previous video. This is now a new video. We have a new condition. So, if now the distance between the two trains is 50 kilometers instead of 100 kilometers, the bird is still flying at the same speed. The bird instantaneously turns around, flies back to the right, flies back to the left, but now we have a similar situation that we had before, except Instead of starting with a distance of 100 kilometers, we're starting with a distance of 50 kilometers. With the same speed of the bird, that second round trip will take half as long. In other words, T2 will be equal to one quarter of an hour instead of a half hour. So let's say this is a half hour. So the second trip will now only take a quarter hour, same speed, half the distance, half the time. So after an additional quarter time has elapsed, the right train will have traveled 12 and a half kilometers and the left train will have traveled 12 and a half kilometers. So now, instead of being here and here, so notice this train will be at a distance of 25 kilometers and this train will be a distance of 75 kilometers relative to the initial start. But after the second trip, this train will have moved a little closer. This train will have moved a little closer. So add another 12 and a half. This train will now be at 37.5 kilometers. And this train will be at 75 minus 12 and a half, which is 62.5 kilometers. And notice the distance between the two trains now is going to be half this much or 25 kilometers. So you can see that this is distance two. After two trips, the distance between the two trains is now 25 kilometers. After one trip, it was 50. After zero trips, it was 100. Notice the first trip took a half hour. The second trip took a quarter hour. So now the trains are 25 kilometers apart. And the bird begins to make another trip. Again, half the distance, same speed. The next trip is going to take half as long again. So now we can say that the third trip is now going to take one eighth of an hour. During that one eighth of an hour, the train on the left will move to the right, the train on the right will move to the left. Instead of 12 and a half kilometers, now six and a quarter kilometers. So now after the third trip, the left train will have moved another six and a quarter kilometers. That would be 43.75, and 7 .75, so it's at 43.75 kilometers. The right train will now have moved from 62.5, that would be 50, let's see here, that would be 54.25, 54.25 kilometers, let's see if that's correct, that would be, um, mm, not 54, let's see, six and a quarter, uh, 56, there we go, that's more like it, 56 and a quarter, 43 and three quarters, so that's six and a quarter, six and a quarter. So now the total distance apart will be half as much again. Now they will be 12.5 kilometers apart. So how long will the next trip take? Well, since the distance now, and of course this is distance three, so the next trip is going to take half as long again. Instead of an eighth of an hour, it's now going to take a sixteenth of an hour. 
So trip four is now going to be equal to 1 16th of an hour. The trains will move, and I think you can see the pattern now. They will now be in two new positions where the distance between them will be half this much, or 6.25 kilometers. And this would be equal to distance four. So how long will the next trip take? Half as long again. So trip five will take 1 32nd of an hour. And as a result of that, the two trains will be moved closer together. And now the distance between them, distance 5, will be half of that much, which is 3.125 kilometers. How long will the next trip take? Well, trip 6 will now take 1 64th of an hour. And after that, the trains will be moving closer together again. And the distance between them, distance 6, will be equal to half that much, which is 1.5 1.5, 6, what's half of that? Wow, I'm getting a brain lock here. 3.125 divided by 2, 1.5625. 1.5625 kilometers, which of course is half as much again. How long will the next trip take? And I think you're beginning to see the pattern. The next trip will take 1 over 128 hours. Then distance 7 will be half of that, and half of that, and half of that. And so, essentially, what's happening here is that the bird will continue to fly back and forth and back and forth. Remember, it's an instantaneous shift in the direction, which means that the bird will essentially cover an infinite number of trips before the train will have finally met. Because if you keep halving the distance between the trains, half and half and half, in the limit, for an infinite number of times, you never actually get to zero, of course. In a practical sense, they will, but in a theoretical sense, they won't. So in other words, number of trips is equal to an infinite number of trips before the trains will move. And strangely enough, after an infinite number of trips, the bird will cover the distance of 291.4 kilometers. And that's the interesting answer of this particular problem.